Hi everyone, I'm Tiwa from Wiser Bikers. Today, I'm going to show you a video manual of how to set up, install your Source G Plus bicycle computer as well as how to synchronize the sensors and heart rate monitors so that you can start using them and recording your rides. Step 1, switch on the Source G Plus bicycle computer by pressing on the button on the right, the power button. Press it and hold. Next, press uh, we want to set up the parameters so we have to press both buttons at the same time to go into the setting page when you see this screen that is blinking this is the setup page press the right side button to go to P1 P1 it is the circumference of your wheel inclusive of the tires that you are using for mine it is a 700 28C tire so the total circumference is 2105 so this is correct for mine if you're not sure what is your what is the circumference of your wheel with your tire you can refer to the extract here you can press the left button to change the number 3 4 and right button to switch to the next number when you're done with the circumference press the right button and go to P2 P2 is the unique setting for your speed do you want to use kilometer per hour or miles per hour it's up to you for me I'll choose kilometer per hour and done next go to P3 now P3 is the time setting uh, depending on the location and zone that you are in input the respective time zone for mine it is plus 8 okay once you're done press both button and exit you're done setting up the parameters for your ZOS G plus step 2 is to download the ZOS app if you have already downloaded then just click otherwise you have to download it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Once you're inside, press connect. The nearest source GPS computer will appear and just press it to connect via Bluetooth. Once you're in here, you will see that if you see that there are new workouts under here, that means these are the workouts that have already been captured in your source computer if you already started using it. Otherwise, you will see this is empty, but you won't be able to see the workout details, the data yet until you synchronize them. So all you need to do is just to press the synchronize button and you will start synchronizing the different workouts. Once they have been synchronized, you can go to the workout tab and draw out the data. You can click into the individual different uh, workout that has been captured and see the data that have been captured. Now for those of you who would like to see, uh, who would like to link your source data to your Strava Strava app you can also do so by going to the profile page go to your profile tab and you can see this Strava tab under here you can click into the Strava app and press connect for my it has, it has already been connected if you haven't done so you can just press the connect button and follow the steps that has been prompted they, they prompt you and once you're done whatever workouts that you have recorded and synchronized to your source app will also appear on your Strava app so that's all for the source app next for all those of you who have also purchased the cadence sensor which can also be act as a speed sensor I'll teach you how to link them up to, to your source G plus computer okay Open the battery compartment. All right. Make sure you have the battery correct face in and put it in. Once you have put in the battery, you'll see the blinking light. If it's red, it means it's a speed sensor. It's set up as a speed sensor. If it blinks to blue, if you want to use it as a cadence sensor, you take out the battery and put it in again. And then you will see that the blinking light will change to blue and blue is for cadence for those of you who have also purchased the ZOS heart rate monitor this is how you're going to set it up first of all when it's new remove the battery compartment and take out the 
paper that's separating the battery so install it put it in once you have done install the monitor onto the heart rate strap the chest strap there's a left and the right indicator make sure you do it accordingly and once you have done put it strap it onto your chest and you will see the blinking light as well as two beep sound that shows that it's already been activated <clears throat> now we are going to mount the source g plus computer as well as the sensors onto your bike this is the mounting that comes with the Zos G Plus computer. Put the rubber support at the back. Mount it onto your bike and wrap it around with the two rubber bands that comes with the Zos G Plus. From left to right, you can do a diagonal cross. Once you're done with the mounting bracket, install the source GPS computer on. It's done. Next, we install the speed sensor. Similarly, put the rubber backing that comes with the sensor. Put it at the back. Remember, for the speed sensor, it's the one that is red color, that blinks red color. Use the same rubber band. Use the rubber band that comes with it and mount it onto the rear wheel the hub of the rear wheel for the cadence sensor mount it onto the left crank you can mount it on the inside we have mounted on all the sensor as well as the computer and i have the heart rate sensor on my chest now what i'm going to show you is how to synchronize all the sensors onto with your zos g plus computer so again switch on the g plus computer when the computer is on Press both buttons at the same time. It will come to the setup page and it will show that now it already shows the heart rate. And once you start to turn the wheel and pedal, once all the sensors and the heart rate monitors are all synchronized, you can press the right button to get back to the main page and you're all set up ready to go to start recording your right press the left button and to stop recording your right press and hold the left button all right that's all for today hope you have learned how to set up and install your source g plus computer and if you like our content today do give us some encouragement by liking our video and also to subscribe to our channel so that you are updated whenever we have new contents and infos for you. Alright, see you!